Okay, here I am again, the same project about the uh, Akaswam amplifier and I have to admit something, I was wrong. And why? I found uh, some new developments, you know, some new infos and that's the beauty of the internet, of the YouTube, you know, because we can talk to each other and we can share things and knowledge and so on. And every day it's something new to learn about. Okay, so I was wrong, why? Because I always considered, and of course I saw a lot of tutorials, you know, doing exactly the same thing, you know. Okay, nano DNA, channel zero, channel one, you know, it's like sending and receiving, very simple. Here we have the amplifier, output, no, input, of course, and in between output and channel one, an attenuator. 20 dB, let's say. Why? Because the output is hot, the signal is so strong it can burn the port, you know. And the input, just like that, you know, the signal comes from port zero to the input. But here is something very interesting. This is a LNA, low noise amplifier. And this is an antenna amplifier. This is dedicated for very low signal levels you know from the antenna we have like 80 minus 80 dbs even less and i didn't know that for sure but now i found out that nano vna it comes out with minus 9 db so we apply here minus 9 db and this overkill overshoot the amplifier you know the rx amplifier okay so that means we have something like this nice and after the amplifier, it goes like this. It's chopping the wave somehow. Okay, this is a very simple. The guys from Akasom, they suggest some things. Okay, let's start with this one. Thank you, uh, Gensen, for uh, uh, sending this photo. There is a little difference here. This Akasom is with uh, caps, and the other one is with small letters. But everything is the same, the screws are the same, everything, okay. So I don't believe in fake. And uh, Akason posted on Discord, many people use this frequency instrument to test our amplifier. The data is different from our nominal results. Why is this so? When testing GRX, the power is minus 20 dB or lower. So to have a proper working device, we need to have at least minus 20 dB or even lower. That's because we are overshooting the input. Well, I was so wrong. I used the attenuator the other side and they are proposing to have the attenuator on the input right here, 21 or 20 dB or something anyway. In this case, it will be like 21.5 or something plus nine minus nine dB, that's the maximum. So we, we have a kind of minus 30 dB on the input here and uh, we'll see the results in a second. The other thing is that to trigger the TX, the transmitting uh, side of the amplifier, no, the, the back side of the amplifier, we should have 3 dB from the minor. In my case, I can't do that because this obviously doesn't have enough signal to trigger the TX. It's only minus nine and we need at least 3 dB. And uh, by the way, my friend Victor here, he did it somehow with another kind of nano VNA and uh, connected to a radio. We'll do that in a second. So here we have the Akasom connected to the nano VNA, but you can see this very clear. It's another model. So probably this model have a better a nano VNA V2 have a better signal output. Okay, just an idea. And um, also, Akasom sent a photo like this. So when test RX put the attenuator between VNA and the amplifier, not here, but the other side. Okay, so I was wrong, but it wasn't my thought. I just did what some other clever guys are doing all around. And I test amplifiers like that and it was a perfect result. Amazing. But right in the same time. Okay, so let's go to the experiment itself. So here we have the Akasom amplifier connected to channel zero, to TX somehow, and to the antenna. 
by a 21.8 dB attenuator. And these are different kind of uh, adapters. And of course, the output, let's say the minor goes to channel one and power on. And if we apply power to the amplifier, let's see the numbers. And there we are, good people, minus 6.53 dB. And that is almost perfect because, let me see, if I connect this, so all this chain of adapters and so on, I have a kind of 21.57 back to the amplifier. If you remember, this one was muted for delivering 17 dBs for Rx and 6 dB for Tx. And there we go. Minus 6.51. Minus 6. Point. You see, just a little twist of an adapter can change the, the signal. 56. 6.56 and uh, in this case and I hate to say that Akason they been right minus 21.58 minus 6.57 and I have an amplification of 15.02 dB this is almost perfect we count on 17, but we have all these adapters and blah, blah, blah. So, good news, Akasom users. This guy is delivering. I'm not talking about the quality of the amplification. The noise is very important too. If it's a muddy amplifier, I really don't know. I can't measure that. What I'm looking here is just the signals and level of amplification. Something else, I can't measure the TX output as long as I can't trigger it even with an extra amplifier. I can't trigger it. I don't know what's happening, but that's not important. Now I'm sure that the amplifier is working. Okay, now let's go to the next phase. And this is very interesting too. I told you that I have a doubt about the TX capability of this uh, amplifier. If it's triggering TX, you know, if it's going on TX. Okay, so I'll have the radio hooked up to the antenna port. All right. And the other side, I'm coming with my gateway. <laughs> Look there. This is nuts, you know, it's a huge signal. And uh, I'm absolutely sure that the gateway and the amplifier is working. Look at the green LED here. So, good news, it's working. But like I said before, I'm not sure about the level. Anyway, it's huge. I can say that. Let me see if I can take this lower. Yes. And, okay, remember this one, it's with the amplifier on. So we reach a maximum of minus 25 dB. The amplifier is working on the X and this is absolutely marvelous. Yeah, same story. Anyway, the most important thing is that that proves that the amplifier is working. You know something? I'll use the antenna much better. Okay, yes, of course. I'll use the antenna like that and we're gonna improvise a piece of wire. This is gonna be our output antenna, okay? Just a small piece of wire in the middle. Here we go, just like that, okay? 
let's see the radio let's see the levels minus 65 we reached here minus 48 even higher minus 45 okay we are clear now let me hook the minor improvised antenna and I'll try to keep the same distance yeah for something like this same piece of wire okay remember we reached minus 45 oh yes of course minus 40 even minus 35 Oh, 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 with peaks. Yes, that's a very clear amplification. Very, very clear. Okay, so that's the end for today. Once again, I was wrong. The Nano VNA, it's a very limited instrument. You can measure a very simple amplifier like I did before, CPF uh, 5189. That one is very tolerable. If for the input, you know, for high input uh, uh, signals, I learned something very important. This supposed to work with very low signals, so don't push it with a high signal from VNA. Use an attenuator before. Thank you, Akasan, for that. And uh, something else. And thank you also, Crypto and uh, Mining Channel. Thank you, Sorin. He also gave me the idea about, you know, maybe this one it's not exactly get triggered by a simple rf signal and it needs the digital the more complex uh in the more complex data inside the rf carrier you know a simple carrier but uh, but the other way uh my friend victor here he proved where are you victor he proved with this very simple uh uh, set up his RDS radio. It's same like mine, but the same story and um, connected to Nano VNA. So this is a very simple setup supposed to to work like that. I couldn't. I couldn't. All right. Conclusion. The Akasom amplifier is working. It can be very easy moved from 0 to 17 dB on Ericsson 6 dB on takes like I did with this one. What I'm concerned about is the quality of the amplification both ways. But this is a matter of time. And of course, some clever guys with some better tools, they can improve that uh, for us and let us know the results. This one goes up in the attic, connected to the antenna for a couple of days and we'll see some results a little bit later. Now the network anyway, it's it's upside down, so I don't want to talk about that. Everything is related to being a hobbyist and uh, have a certain pleasure, you know, to do all these kind of stuffs. And like I said, I'm learning every day. You should do the same. So don't take everything, you know, that guy said this and the other guy said something else. We have to check the things and we have to argue each other, of course always the true is coming up thank you for now this is the end of uh, akasom saga and i hope uh, it's useful like subscribe and uh, finally <laughs> have fun okay bye bye